Okay, today's segment deals with the squat. Uh, as you see in the text below or above, uh, the squat is one of the most maligned and hated exercises there is. I've heard every excuse, whether it can't do it because it hurts my back or it hurts my knees or my doctor told me that it's dangerous and I shouldn't do it. Um, you squat just about every day, whether you're sitting on the toilet or you're sitting down to have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or you're getting up off the couch after watching television, you squat pretty much in some form every day. And it's an exercise that, uh, you know, granted, you don't wanna overload yourself and, and run the risk of hurting yourself, but it's, a, it's an essential functional exercise that will benefit you your whole life. So today we're gonna to kind of figure out a way to show you how to squat safely and effectively and the key points to think about when you're doing it. If a squat is done correctly, there's no reason why it should hurt your back or your knees or be dangerous. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna do this with no weight. This will apply whether you're doing a back squat with a barbell across your back. It will apply if you're doing a goblet squat with a dumbbell in front of you. It will apply if you're doing dumbbell squats with your hands out at your sides. The mechanics of the, mov of the movement are exactly the same. So again, we're gonna start off shoulder width apart. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna break at the hip, not at the knees. Your hips have to go back, just like you're gonna sit back into a chair, okay? To make this easier to begin with, put your hands out in front of you or slightly up. Now, put your butt back, squat down. You're gonna to try to reach parallel and then drive up off your heels and come back up. Okay, same thing. Break at the hips first, come down. It's important to remember that your knees do not come out past your toes. Uh, the biggest mistake I see people do is do this. And their knees come forward and they bend forward. So now all their weight is coming forward. They're driving the force out through their knees. So straighten that back out, put those hips back and drive off your heels. Parallel, up. It helps if you keep a slightly elevated uh, aspect to your head, so you can either pick a spot high on the wall, follow it with your eyes, never look down. And that's it. That's really all there is to a squat. Uh, start off doing them body weight. Later on, you can add in a weight out in front of you. Same exact motion though. Or once you progress to a back squat with the bar on your back, same motion. Now for somebody that uh, is having a really difficult time with it, the best thing to do is set up a target. So if you wait one second, here we go. This will make it really easy. For you at home, if you've got a chair, you do it all the time. Put your feet right up against the edge of the legs of the chair, or if it's a box, or if it's a plyo box like this. Get your hands out in front of you. Come down till you feel the seat. Come back up. Don't come down and sit and relax. Support yourself all the way down. Feel it. Come up out of it. Feel it. Come up out of it. Now, this is a little high for me. I'm not getting quite to parallel. Look around. See what you have in the house. You may have a stool. Uh, you may have some steps. Find something that puts you just at parallel or slightly below and practice. And that's really all there is to it. And you shouldn't be afraid of squats because again, you use them every day. So uh, with that, stay fit forever.